Coming up next, we've got a fun little treat. I think you'll enjoy it. Please, everybody, uh, keep your hands together for the comedy stylings of Josh Ratcliffe, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. This is actually a, a little a different treat for you because, let me start the timer. Oh, my, I don't know how to use my watch. I, I bought this for a comedy show a while ago to time it, and it turns out they don't really sell watches anymore. Um, you have to pay on Amazon. All right. Um, anyways, let's, okay, there we go. Um, as you may have guessed already, I'm not a comedian. Um, I am actually running for political office. I am your independent candidate for Ottawa Center uh, in the provincial election. And uh, thank you, thank you. And I thought, uh, why not come up and, and do a little act and, and have an audience here? And when they tagged me yesterday and, and said, you can come up and give a campaign speech, I felt very honored. Uh, and then when I thought about it today, I felt like maybe I should write something uh, for... <laughs> So I did, uh, but I didn't memorize it because I wrote it like 10 minutes ago. Um, and I'm not wasting your taxpayer dollars on things like a teleprompter or memorizing. Uh, and this may seem like an odd thing to do, but I ask you, think about how many successfully elected politicians have come up and done a stand-up comedy act, and you'll realize none. Oh, crap. Um, Anyways, a little bit about me. I've run for the Green Party four times in uh, Toronto, uh, but I'm running as an independent here, uh, which means I have to think of innovative ways of getting my message out there, um, such as this, which is a great idea because audiences at comedy shows love political speeches. <laughs> Pause for laughter. Okay, that is, that's good. Um, so I've written some jokes about my campaign, uh, but I know Ottawa is going through some tough times right now with the storm, and, uh, and, and I don't want to look like I'm making light of, of the situation, but I thought, you know what, comedy is healing. Um, and so this could help heal the community. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not funny, uh, so there will be no healing. Um, but I support healthcare, which provides healing. And that was a very smooth way of getting in a policy thing. Um, but you're not going to believe this, I do not have a professional speech writer. Um, this is, I am alone in the world. <laughs> what are my passions? I care about the environment. Uh, I used to hand out flyers to people when I saw them idling their cars. And uh, this, they didn't like that very much. Uh, one time a guy got out of his BMW and ran down the street and said, Hey, tree hugger, if you ever touch my car again, I'll, I'll kill you. Ah, but to get out of the car and run after me, he had to turn off his engine. Uh, so <laughs> joke's on him. Uh, but then I decided it might be safer to do uh, some comedy about the environment and get the message out that way. So I wrote a love song for Elizabeth May, the Green Party leader in the 2011 election that went viral, and it was in all the news, and it worked. I got her elected, uh, but it also didn't work because she married somebody else. Um, so I live alone in the world that I saved. Uh, but in an unrelated note, I support free mental health care. Uh, yes. And then in the provincial election, the Toronto Star emailed and said, are you going to do another funny song? And, and so I did a funny song uh, about my digital flyer saying, share this video and then you'll save trees. I won't have to hand out flyers. And so you're able to do that again today when I post this on TikTok, uh, which I'm going to do because I'm very in touch with what the youth uh, are doing on the HTTP colon backslash backslash www.worldwideweb.com. Uh, and I support investments in technology because I hear the internet is going to be huge. Uh, I help Ottawa by picking up litter everywhere I go. You might have noticed uh, in the Byward Market today there was one less energy rock star can on the ground. That was me uh, picking it up. And here's how I stand on the big issues in this election. Uh, I support free dental care and I have great arguments for that. Uh, but as an independent I haven't been allowed to engage the other candidates in debates. Uh, so this is how the debate would have gone. I would be like, I support free dental care, it's crucial for your health. And then the person against free dental care would say, I think free dental care is a waste of money. I don't have teeth and I'm fine. That would have been a great debate. Um, I also support, support free mental health care. This would not only save 
uh, me money, it would save me time uh, from having to do this, uh, because comedy open mics are my therapy. Um, I support greening our energy by replacing uh, coal and uh, natural gas with uh, clean hydro from Quebec, because Ontario starts with O, so why shouldn't our power start with O? Because O is French for water, and uh, that's a bilingual joke, and thank God my 14 years of uh, French immersion weren't a waste. Uh, I support better health care uh, for our seniors and better care in general um, because, uh, you know, seniors need to be honored. Um, but uh, the older I get, the older I consider somebody to be a senior. Um, so at this point, that's about 150 years old. Uh, so the rest of the seniors are on their own. Uh, I'm just kidding. I talked to seniors about what they want and they told me, why are you asking me? Ask yourself. You look like a senior. You have no hair. <laughs> I love speaking to the people. We have one. What are they talking about? Long Island. Ah, cool. I love Long Island. Please vote for me there. Uh, <laughs> I want to plant more trees uh, to clean the air and to give dogs more places to pee. Um, I've spoken to the dogs of Ottawa, and they tell me that finding a place to pee is rough. What, is he the waiter? Like, what is going on here? Oh, he is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> How do we deal with convoys? Because that's a big issue. Uh, the truck convoy was loud and disruptive. Uh, the motorcycle convoy was slightly less disruptive, so I realized the solution is to limit the size of the transportation uh, that's protesting. So skateboards are smaller, would be fine. Uh, if you have those little heelys in your shoes, those little wheels, you can have any protest you want. Um, there's a proposal for Lansdowne Park to put in more condos and uh, sh shrink the size of the stadium, and I like that idea except I would do the complete opposite um, because I went to the Avril Lavigne concert and I had a lot of fun there. That was fun in the stadium and nobody at the concert invited me back to their condo. So I'm pro-stadium and anti-condo. Um, some parties want smaller class sizes, uh, but I don't see how stuffing everyone into a smaller classroom would uh, solve the problem, so I would hire more teachers. Uh, look, and look how well I was educated, so I know things. Uh, some parties want to cap nurse salaries, uh, others want to raise nurse salaries. Um, I think nurses should get everyone's salary, because uh, I don't know what you do for money, but it, what I do is not uh, as important as what nurses are doing. That was just like a virtue signal thing, that wasn't really a joke. Um, Alright, the red light went on, so I'll tell my last hilarious joke here, we'll skip right to the end. I want green energy, and here's my innovative idea. Uh, I think that anybody who drops a rock star energy drink as litter should be rounded up and forced to run on a treadmill to power our city until their energy runs out. Thank you very much. Vote Josh Rackless in the election. Josh Rackless, everyone. Round of applause. Oh. He's got my vote at the Howie Mandel Lookalike Contest. <laughs> that was somehow more rude than knocking on our doors during dinner. Thanks. Is everyone going to vote for Josh? Good. Great.